trash. Uh, see if Christy will eat one of them. Yeah, I bet the kitties will love it. Be a nice snack. What happened? It's different. Did we plant something? No. Did we tear something out? I'm transplanting. Was something laying there that someone picked up? I don't know. I'm loving that red bush, whatever that is. So you said finish the van? That's a sweet spire. That one of these garnet sweet spire. I have no idea. It actually has a tag on it. Oh, well, there we go. Yep. Henry's Garnet Sweet Spire. How funny. It hasn't been there all spring, though, or summer. Well, it was covered up by this thing. The yeah, salvia is huge. I've got to cut that back. And the grass was huge. And the salvia in the pot just hit. It all died off on the top, but it's coming back <clears> on the bottom. Yeah, I, I know I need to clip that off. I was looking at it the other day. And the frost hit it. It's zapped that too. I know. I saw that. I didn't think that Trans that would happen. Transplanted a carrot last night. Who did? Me. Wow. Just thinning out the little fun green barrel you have there. I did not do that. You okay. know, Raleigh did that because he had found just an envelope of seeds. And so he just dumped them in the bucket up top. So I'm Seed trying to grow. Yeah, but the bottom is starting to grow back. Oh, I see it. I'm going to cut it out. <clears throat> I think I want to transplant it. What do you think about your uh, cauliflower? Yeah, it's, it's growing. Aren't you excited? Yeah. Those don't look None like the, they're doing too good. None of the broccoli is growing. This mm -hmm. one's growing ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, but I'm just saying the leaves look pretty. Yeah, well, I usually well, come through and So our spring garden, it wasn't until, when did we have that frost? A week ago? Yeah. That we finally had a frost that took out the rest of our summer garden. Peppers, okra, what else did it take? All the basil, what few tomato plants that were here and there are gone. But I'm not sure what to do about asparagus. So if anybody wants to leave a comment and say, hey, this is how you do asparagus, because this is our first year of asparagus. Some of these plants, though, we bought as... This is a two-year asparagus. <clears throat> this is its second year. Yeah. Well, no, it was two years old when we got it, so this is its third year. Mm -hmm. You can harvest next year. This was its second year when we planted it. Huh? Next year, will be, which is still the same thing. Next year is its third year. Okay. But we don't know what to do with it. Just cut it off, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna see if anybody knows. Your cabbages. Mm -hmm. are that one's starting fun. to fold up. This one looks good. like it is too, though. That's good. Maybe they'll start making a head. Mm -hmm. And then these are your beets. Yes, this is beets. They don't look too good um, in the camera because they of looked, the dark and the dark. They look okay. For a little while. They're still looking good. Like there's green on that one. Oh yeah, the plant itself is healthy. We need to top of this. With? Hay maybe to keep the heat in the ground. I thought a beet was a winner. Yeah, but it wouldn't help to or hurt maybe. I don't think our ground temperature is that cold. So this is what he was talking about. This is our this is salvia. Salvia, thank you. I wanted to say spirilla, and I'm like, I know that's not right, our salvia. And this plant was huge, and it has new growth on the bottom. Super excited. This is our comfrey plant, well, comfrey and it keeps going day. everywhere. Some people consider it a nuisance. Well, it's a nitrogen booster. Mm-hmm. And medicinal. It has medicinal purposes, you salves and things like that. And um, I think Melissa, that Briar Ridge Farms makes salad. So does Jen over at East Texas. 
homestead yeah, mm -hmm. and make chat, chat sticks, sticks and, and bombs and stuff, and stuff. Mm -hmm. i have not done anything so here's my problem well, with the thing is, is it's good rabbit food. yes it's high in protein yeah. for rabbits yes so my problem with plants that flower is i really enjoy the flowers and then i have a hard time using them and that's something i'm gonna have to get past because these are borage <laughs> and i planted borage from seeds and they have put my coffee down the most beautiful blue flowers in the spring and summer this was all flowers and the frost got them but the flowers on this were amazing i'm gonna see if i can find a picture of them to insert right here but i could not get myself to pick the flowers because i just wanted to enjoy them in the garden huge downfall of owning a homestead the bees love the comfrey and, and the borage, the borage and the basil the, they love the basil and they really love the salvia mm -hmm. so out of all of our there's more comfrey bee attracting plants that we've ever the, between the roses and all the flowers and everything that we've ever planted even basil, even borage, all of the wildflowers that we planted they got a little bit business mm -hmm. but the salvia oh, the salvia the basil Mm -hmm. The borage and the comfrey flowers all were the top dogs. They were. They, we, they were covered in if bees. If you walked every by day. a certain area that had those plants, was every day. you could just hear a loud hum. It was just the mmm of the bees. It was amazing. I loved it. So much action. This is dill. I planted this from seed to go over here. This was, you can still see some of the remnants. Of cucumber and we planted the dill here and it had gone to seed but i planted this from seed and it did not do anything until late summer yeah and i planted this back in yeah it was last spring it's actually seeding right now i know that's what i said is it had seeded we probably should try to harvest, harvest. some of those seeds i think so but this has finally and then Looks like there's a baby volunteer yeah so it has several babies I volunteer over here. and I am so excited because I was really looking forward to this deal this year and when it did not come up I was disappointed so now that it's growing good it might be next year we get to enjoy the yeah the benefits of it the benefits of some deal with our cucumbers and mm. we got the we did the cucumber specific for pickling but and that they're in the kitchen still I really need to get them going I'll probably do a video on that of Eli doing his pickles we've cut them up i just haven't done it that'd be nice and then this was our okra this, bed this is, oh. a, this is a winter clover because well, we did we not plant them. this well we say we didn't so no we, we didn't mix out right we did not purposefully come out here and throw this out recently but the frost did nothing to it it survived the frost like and it starts it here and it goes, and it goes all, all, all the way up into where the tomato beds were and we had thrown thing. we had thrown a wildflower mixture out here let's see this mm -hmm. just white clover yeah if we had rabbits which we have that one the kids love her if we had real rabbits out here then georgia <laughs> here is more borage you have one i see two plants over here of borage that just reseeded themselves and i just let them be and letting them do their thing throughout the winter i won't pour them up but you can see where the look the ducks have really loved that do you see it because we have ducks and two chicken fancy chickens that stay in here frizzle and a silky and they stay in the garden with us and like to eat the bugs and whatever is left over from the crop we do intend on building a fence kind of a wall starting at the end of our concrete here and going across hello ladies you hungry they're ready for breakfast we are late this morning look at this they're all lined up <laughs> 
<laughs> no one has gotten breakfast this morning yet because we've had a really different morning. We had our future son-in-law come need help with this chainsaw and I know bean girl I'm gonna have to put my coffee cup up oh Bo you're so gross I'm clean look I shouldn't come out here in the shower anyhow he's been rolling in something hi 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 bean girl ah, ah, ah. muddy buddy no jumping is that good? Hmm. Here you go. Here you go. Hi. <laughs> These boys <laughs> are the sweetest. Oh, oh. I really try not to let him push on me because that was a sign of a donkey trying to show dominance. And so when they push, I stand my ground and try not to give any. And then I also push back a little bit because it shows them, hey, we're the boss, not you. Otherwise, it could become pretty dangerous for the kids if they try to run them over. But he is by far the sweetest boy. Yes, you are. You're so sweet. <laughs> Barnyard's hungry this morning, Bo. Come on, Bo, Bo, Bo. Come on, Bo. Come on, come on. <laughs> Good boy. My bye, bye. Yo. Highly recommend this dog breed. He is a great Pyrenees Anatolian. He's Anatolian mix, right? But. What is Muddy Buddy's breed? Uh, he's an Anatolian Shepherd Pyrenees mix. Yeah. Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd. That's what I thought, but... Whew, I mucked out a little chicken house a couple days ago and left it because I was in a hurry. Look at all you babies. Look at all you babies. Yeah. Did you already do chickens? Hi, Sarge. Hi, Sarge. Hi, girls. Oh, there's Bluebell's baby. Hi, Bluebell. sweet new baby on our little homestead born in the winter I know a lot of people frown on that letting their hens go broody but we don't have too crucial of winters here we're in East Texas so we just if they go broody I feel like it's their right because I don't have to worry about too cold of a winter for them this is what we're down to on our big girls and a couple of roos we have a Brahma Roo and Oshalorp Roo. We had a fox and a coyote come. And even though they're in an area that we thought would have been a little bit predator safe, they still got a lot of our flock. We had a guard goose, Lovey, and she actually was drug off by the coyote without any warning so we think that it got her while she was sleeping so guard goose did not work for us that's why we ended up with muddy buddy and he is a really really good really good one we were concerned <coughs> excuse me we were concerned just because i mean you do hear that a lot of the livestock guardian dogs the lgds do not do good with um chickens like you have to be real careful which breed you get for because of chickens and 
we do have a lot of poultry. We have the ducks, the turkeys, the chickens. And we wanted something, but he is so good. The only thing we have to train him on is with the babies. He tries to round the babies back up into their pen and they're gonna be let out soon. So I've got to be real careful. Hold on, I wanna get you feeding them. Uh, I wanted to get you feeding them. The girls are already in here. <laughs> oh, it's wet. Here you girls! Here you go! Here you go! Oh, good girl. <laughs> you sped the little ones out here. I don't think they're gonna get any bigger, so we're gonna have to fix how they're coming in and out. They don't get any bigger than that? No, they're full grown. <laughs> they're little bitty babies. <laughs> Quail's almost that big. <laughs> it's true, the quail are almost that big. So these two gals can fit. These two gals can fit in and out of the fencing still because of how small they are but I do not think they're gonna get much bigger. These are already, I mean, I think they're like 13, 14 weeks now. So I don't see them getting any bigger. All right. Chickens are fed, ducks are fed, donkeys and sheep are fed, which they crack me up. They all three try to eat out of the same thing, which we're gonna come up with a new feeding system. I have an idea of what to do. He's a good girl, Bean. And then Sarge thinks he is also part of the herd. Mm -hmm. But there is more food over here in this one. Hello, quail girls. Hello, quail. Hello, quail. Oh, it's time for new bedding. Yeah.
the quail water. Dry. Yeah, because I had to go through and dig. Yeah. Did a good job. Way to go after and find that, that dry hay. Are you noticing if any of it has like seeds or anything like that in it? Yep. You know, some of our hay had like patches of seeds and whatever was in the field, you know? Yeah. So I try to give the quell as close to a natural environment as I can. So I come out and these are just a bunch of saplings that, you know, just grew from the base of other trees and so we don't we didn't plant them here and they really don't serve a purpose other than to give me really good leafy stuff to give to the quail and they really like to hide in it and just kind of bed down in it and it keeps my hay that I put in there I feel like a little bit more keeps it a little longer See if they make some little nests or something. They're loving down there because they can crawl up underneath it. They didn't do so well with the log thing. I think we need to elevate it. I think it's just too shallow. That's what I'd say. Oh, you know what? That's what I had wanted to do. Do you know what it could was be? Was get some of that ash and put it in these buckets. I could not find a shovel readily available to me so I dumped out my coffee it was getting cold anyway in here we need to have a dust bath and I don't know what it is about my donkeys but they really love coming and eating all of the hay that I pull out of the stalls. Thank <laughs> you. 